Hello everyone, this is Highlander from MTG Cardsmith doing another custom Magic the Gathering card review. And today we are reviewing a card by TGBC from his set, uh, Gakurin. Okay, here we've got a legendary creature named Otto. Otto. Uh, I'm sensing some German themes. Um, we've got Hersher, which is spelled very, is spelled German. I, I don't know what, uh, let's see. Let's just Google that real quick. Hersher. Uh like that. Hersher. Hersher. What is a Hersher? Hersher, Illinois. Um, Hasha. Let's see. Uh, translate. Did you mean Escher? Let's just go German here. It looks like a German word. Um... Is it double R? It is double R. Excuse me. No. Ruined. Ruler. Okay, there we go. Hasha. Ruler. Okay. Got it. So, yes, there are German... There do appear to be German themes in this set, um, which is a little strange considering all the characters are, you know, Japanese animated, but, you know, that's... That, that, I guess that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. All these Japanese drawings are appropriating my German culture. Oh, I'm just kidding. Um, all right, so what do we got here? We got Schicksal Overseer. Otto Schicksal Overseer. Yeah, super German. All right, six mana for six six. Legendary human. Um, oh, come on. This guy's a human priest for sure, right? Look at him. Look at this guy. No, no, no subtype, huh? Or other subtype. Anyway, when Otto enters the battlefield, create... Oh, it pains me that I'm saying this so American. Otto, my so um, I'll share a little tidbit about myself. My mom is uh, full-blooded German, so I actually was raised uh, speaking German. I've I've sort of lost it over time, unfortunately, but um, my mom would be appalled by how I'm pronouncing this. When Otto Otto when Otto enters the battlefield. Create four artifact tokens named Solium Body. Solium, okay? Solium Body. Dang, girl, you got a Solium Body. Uh, whenever a creature you control attacks, you may sacrifice another creature you control... Okay, what, hold on. Whenever a creature you control attacks, you may sacrifice another creature you control... To give it an evergreen ability, excluding hexproof and indestructible. Ugh. Okay, I don't like that wording very much. If Otto were to leave the battlefield, sacrifice a solium body to prevent this. I see. So he's got four lives. Um, okay, so let's break this down. Six mana, six, six. Uh, stats are fine, um, if unexciting for a uh, mythic creature, but of course he's got all these abilities. Um, so no issue with the stats. Uh, when he is a battlefield, he gets four of these tokens. So, okay, it's the, the wording's a little wrong in this. Um, I'll get back to that in a minute. Uh, and then if, if he were to leave the battlefield, sacrifice his soul and body to prevent this. And this is not a may, right? So you have to do this. Um, okay, whenever a creature you control attacks, you may sacrifice another creature you control to give it an evergreen ability, excluding hexproof and indestructible. Okay. Um, all right, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to try to reword this card a little bit. Firstly, because it, it has a few formatting, uh, you know, wording issues. But secondly, because it will help me understand this card better. So, when Otto enters the battlefield, create four, let's see, colorless solium body artifact tokens. Okay, interesting. Um, uh, 
Whenever a creature you control attacks, you may sacrifice another creature you control to, let's see, you may sacrifice another creature you control. If you do, comma, that creature, oh, I spelled sacrifice. That creature gains your choice of, and here's where I would probably. So okay, anytime you see it, uh, anytime you see a card that does this, they always list out the keywords that you can get, because first of all, uh, keywords change in Magic, right? I mean, I could say. I could say like, okay, well, I'm gonna give my creature fear. Is that an evergreen ability? I mean, it used to be. Does that mean I can give it to one of my creatures? I don't know, it doesn't say. It says an evergreen ability. It was once an evergreen ability, so therefore can I use fear? Um, you know, can I give it protection from a color? That's kind of evergreen. I mean, it's not really evergreen, but it's a keyword ability. Like, go define evergreen. What does evergreen mean, right? Uh, you, you, okay. Your your card should not require the player to go on the internet and Google what is a what are the evergreen abilities. Is is kind of what I'm trying to say, right? So, you really need to spell out what abilities you can give. And given that this guy's a black creature, you probably want to choose black keywords. So, man, why do they got to be black keywords? All right. Um, so, for example, lifelink. Uh, if you do that creature, gains your choice of lifelink, uh, menace. Uh, what, what, what else does black have? Indestructible they have. Death touch. Or flying, I mean, until end of turn, right? Something like that. Uh, so you, you just want to spell it out. That is the point, okay? Um, and then, uh, whenever Otto would leave the battlefield, Sacri sacrifice a solium body. If you do, um, if you do, if you do what? If you do, uh, huh, that's kind of str strange. If you do what? So usually you would say if you do X instead, but if you do like, Stays on the battlefield instead. That that, that doesn't really make a sense. Um, sacrifice a solium body. If you do, or uh, yeah, if you do, or I guess you would. I guess in this case you would say when you do because it's it's mandatory. Um, when okay, when you do. Uh, I don't know how to word this. Um, uh, gain one life instead. There we go. <laughs> I mean, you know, sacrifice a civilian body. This wording might be okay. Um, well, let's let's take a look at Scryfall real quick. We'll see quick and see if there's precedent for this. Uh, text prevent this. Um, okay, let's uh, put this in quotes here. Uh, is that right? No cards with prevent this? Oops. Yeah, I don't... Uh, this is just going to be all damage prevention cards. So 
I'm not going to keep looking through this, but yeah, I, I don't think this this is the, the way you would um, word this. Um, so, yeah, I mean, okay. In the comments, help me out with the wording on how you would word this. Okay, that being said, this prevents all leaving the battlefield. So it prevents exile, it prevents bounce, it prevents... Um, uh, obviously killing it. Um, so that alone right there is very strong. Just the fact that this is a creature that basically can't leave the battlefield four times um, is quite strong. Um, luckily, his ability is pretty bad. Um, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but like essentially... Uh, oh, whoops, I did not mean to open that. Um, I guess, okay, so it's not, it's not terrible. If you're in a sacrifice deck, uh, this guy's good, right? Because you sacrifice the Solian bodies, you, oh, and you can even sacrifice this guy to not sacrifice him, I guess. Um, and then this is basically just a sacrifice outlet. Normally, this is a pretty bad ability because, um, like, you know you're trading a card uh in theory for a you know gaining some life making a creature t a little difficult to block making your creature not able to block or not be blocked they'll choose not to block it that's what i mean um or you know be unable to be blocked probably um <laughs> uh but, you know, obviously if you're playing a sacrificed deck, you know, you've got things like tokens floating around. Um, you know, you've got creatures that come back when you sacrifice them. So, you know, it's a fine ability. This is a very strong sacrifice enabler, um, now that I think about it. And the fact that you can actually sacrifice him to not sacrifice him <laughs> uh, is, 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 is kind of uh, cool. Though, I think, I think it would probably... Um, I think it would probably be best if you give the opponent a way to interact with this, but still keep this guy as being able to be sacrifice fodder. So, for example, you could do something like, um, you know, uh, whenever Otto would die, sac. Okay, this is how you do it, right? Sacrifice a solium body instead, right? Yeah, I think something like that, right? Um, I like this better because this, this still opens the door for your opponent to interact with the creature. They can exile it. They can bounce it. I mean, bouncing it is actually not even that great because they get four more solium bodies. Um, four is a lot, by the way. So... Um, you know, I think two is probably good. I, I, four is four is a lot. Um, one thing that's a little bit unclear about this wording here um, is whenever a creature you control attacks, you may sacrifice another creature you control. So the question is, is another creature referring to a creature other than the attacking creature, which I think is the case, or is it referring to a creature other than Otto? I think it's referring to a creature other than the attacking creature, but it's it's a little it's a little unclear. Um, I don't exactly know how to remedy that, but okay. So uh, this guy is interesting, actually. Um, I I I I kind of like the idea of um having this guy with like this sort of number of lives um i guess he's trading out bodies is that, is that what's happening um and he's like you know he's got some sacrifice enabling going on um so i think the ideas here are cool i you know i'm a sucker for a sacrifice deck um but there are some issues with the card i think four is probably way too many i think two is perfectly reasonable 
Um, the obviously we talked about this evergreen ability thing. That's that's not a great idea. Um, and the wording here isn't great. And also, uh, I don't I don't think this should be leave the battlefield. I think this should this should be destroy. It's just it's just not a good idea to have something that just cannot be dealt with in any way. Um, it's just not a good idea. It's that's not what magic's about. Ma you know, magic's about um, interacting with your opponent. So, you know, even if there's a creature that makes it difficult to interact, you should still have a way to interact with it. And, I mean, okay, Wizards has printed cards like, um, I think the worst offender is uh, True Name Nemesis, which is, like, just a god-awful card. Like, this card's just god-awful. But at least this one you can even, you can Wrath, right? At least this one you can Wrath. Or, you know, you can you can board wipe, you can give minus X, minus X to all creatures. Uh, you know, you can at least interact with this in some ways. This guy you cannot interact with in any way at all, right? So I don't like that. I, I don't think that's a good, I don't think that's a great idea. Um, your opponent should be able to interact with your cards. It's just part of magic. Um, so yeah, um, so idea-wise, I like this card, I, but it has some issues. I have to give it another 6 out of 10. I think this card has potential to be a 7... Um, maybe even an eight out of ten, um, but um, and I, you know I like the art too, even though it kind of looks like a white card. Uh, but um, yeah, just with some of these issues I mentioned, I think it it you know it, it needs a little bit of improvement before it can reach that point. So for now, six out of ten. If you know if you're able to revamp this card, I think I think it has potential to be better. So that's my review of Otto Schicksal Overseer. See you guys next time.